men speak a different language than women, a language of respect. And so totally different creatures, right? That's good. But those are things you have to know to build a life together. That's, that's true. But at the same time, you know, thank God that God was leading us and that we knew nothing. So, you know, we didn't know, you know, just to homeschool. Everyone thought we were crazy back in those days, 40, I don't know, 35 years ago or whatever. But nevertheless, God was moving and he was directing our steps and he was beginning to teach us how the kingdom operated and it changed our life completely. And so we want you to have the ability to avoid some of that. To make a decision that you're going to build your house differently. And so no matter where you come from and what you, what you do, you know, what is, the stand, what is your worldview? What is the standard that you're going to build your life on? And of course, it's the word of God. Of course, it's God's plan. God has, has given us an instruction book that lays out how life works. And we need to pattern ourselves after what the word of God says to have what the word of God says. So it's not that complicated, but it does take a decision. I remember that in our family life, we had to make tough decisions. I remember uh, one of our sons wanted to play football uh, for many years. And finally, we made a decision to let him play football. But we had to drive an hour to take him to practice, an hour back, and then three hours. And for our family, for our family, it didn't work. Now, we did it one year, but we had to make a decision. We had to sit down because we had to make a decision for the family. We said, son, you did it last year. This doesn't fit our family. It's not, it's not, it's not matching. We don't have the time to do this. We have other things. We, we, don't, we, can't, we can't do this, and we have to make tough decisions. He understood. He was fine. But, you know, everyone's running around so fast. Everyone's just running, 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 running. And you have to stop and make a decision. What is our priority as a family? Yes. What is our mission? What is our agenda? Where are we headed can't just be all sucked up in busyness and busyness following the culture. What has God laid on your lap to do besides just raising the kids and everyone has an assignment? You were getting up. I can see that. Yeah. I just want to say in our differences, we're strong. Men are different than women by design. It is God's design. And so we can't hate that design or find fault with that design. Men are amazing, wonderful creations of God. Women are amazing, wonderful creations of God. And when we come together, the Bible says that two are better than one for they have a great reward for their effort together. And so Gary thinks differently than I do. His skills are different than my skills. But when our skills come together, it's exponential in power. Yeah. The team. We yeah. become a power couple, right? Because we bring some something to the table when we work together. But when we let strife divide us, the enemy comes against our power of agreement and stops us. So we learn to look at each other and say, I'd rather prosper than get into strife. I'd rather prosper yep. than find fault with the other person. And so, you know, I, I haven't told many dear stories, but I'll tell you a dear story. So this oh, is my first dear story. So... Anyway, I is. wanted, when we were building our new home, I wanted a deer for Gary's office, but I wanted a trophy buck. I wanted a huge trophy buck, right, for the wall. And I said to Gary, I want you to get a trophy buck this year, because he'd get his deer every year. You know, you've heard his stories. He'd sow his seed. He'd believe God. Which, by the way, in the beginning, I was like, don't, don't ever tell anyone you do that. Don't ever tell anybody that. Nobody will get that. Just don't even tell anybody, please. So when he wrote, wrote the book Faith Hunt, I was like, really? We're going to share this with people? I don't know. You know, what are people going to say? What are they going to think? So anyway, but then I began to see the results. I began to see the result of his faith and him putting his faith out. And I began to work with him and pray and believe God with him and put my faith with his faith. And he worked with me because in the very beginning, I would think you're going deer hunting. This needs fixed. That needs fixed. This problem in the house, that problem in the house. And I thought, you know, unless you fix all these things, you can't go deer hunting. So then he would start coming to me two or three weeks before deer hunting season. Go, give me the list. Give me the list. Give me the list. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Here's the list. He goes, if I do the list, then you'll agree with me. I'm like, yes, we'll work together on this. And so then, how often, then how often do I go out? I Very go out and get times. my deer. 
very few times. He would go one out time. and get his deer in 40 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm like, wow. She one, likes that system. One time so that's a deer good system. Hunting, this works great. I'm going to use my faith, right? <laughs> and so, but this one time he wanted to go deer hunting. He said, I can't really believe for a trophy buck. And I've tried, I've tried to wrap my head around it. I just can't. I can believe for a four point, maybe eight point. And so I said this to him. I said, you believe for the deer. The, was it a four point or an eight point? I didn't even know what this was about in the beginning. I'd be like, are you going to go catch a deer? And you're like, no. Well, and I'd be like, you're not going to go catch a deer? And you're like, no. I'm like, what? He goes, I'm going to go hunt a deer. You do not catch deer. So anyway, you catch a fish, you hunt a deer. That's how, it, I mean, I was illiterate when it came to hunting and fishing and things like that. Anyway, I said, you believe for the four-point buck or the eight-point buck, whatever it was he was believing for, and I will believe for exceeding abundantly above all you ask, think, or imagine according to the power at work in us, right? And so we put ourselves together in this and believe God. And I remember that morning very clearly waking up and praying this has happened to me so many times. God will wake me up at 6 a.m. He's out on the stand, and I don't normally wake up that time. And I start interceding, praying the Spirit, and calling the deer in and come in. So I do it from the bed. He's out there in the woods in the cold. And so, and he's an awesome, amazing, excellent marksman, incredible, terrific, honorable hunter <laughs> of the utmost, of the greatest. <laughs> So if I put my heart behind his heart, my dreams with his dreams, and we believe together we can do greater things, right? And so he that morning, he saw what he believed for. He saw the deer that he believed for, and he shot at it, and he missed it. And then he was kind of feeling dejected, walking back toward the house. He heard something. He looked over in the field, and just about 40 yards off in the distance, he saw this amazing, enormous buck with this ginormous rack that turned out to be 20, 26 points. Six points. 240 some pounds. Field and dress. as soon yeah. as he saw it, he said, oh my, that's Drenda's deer. <laughs> so I'm here to say, when you work with your spouse, you can get a deer without ever getting out of bed. So. Hey, that is a good example of the power of agreement. Amen. And that's that, what the enemy's after. That's, and the enemy wants to divide that. That's what yes. strife's all about. Amen. He wants to divide that agreement. Amen. But I found if we get an agreement, That's right. it's done. That's right. Amen. That's exactly right. Amen. And so he took his aim, his crossbow, and he shot this Cro amazing yeah, okay. shot. The arrow went way up in the sky, and he wow. nailed that deer. Boom. <laughs> it fell. It dropped. That's he, right. <laughs> he came in the house. He was dancing and shouting, excited. I started dancing, shouting, excited. I ran out my gown. We went and got the deer. We looked at it. We put it up on the wall. We made a mount. Yes. We made a mount. <laughs> and it's still there to this day, right there. When you walk in, it looks right at you. Anyway, in his office where it belongs. And it is That's amazing. Right. And seriously, that is how the kingdom of God works in marriage. You can see a vision, but your spouse can bring something to that vision that carries it to a place that you could have never gone on your own. Right.